The Illuminati, 20 of the richest families that run the entire world. Using increments and Marxism to advance their programs of manipulation. With all the information the Illuminati does it really matter if you don't know a way out and the only way out is going to be through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ now the globalists have been financing the new versions of the Bible and taking out the deity of Christ our Savior. Why would the main media and the bankers finance this project if there was no Christ? So with everything that's coming forward, Agenda 21, oh, a lot more than that, what does it really matter with all the information you can get on the web if you don't find God in this world? See, Christ is a savior because he is the son of God. He is God. The word was planted into Virgin Mary and the Word created Christ. So as we enter these end times and the Antichrist is on the earth now and he's coming to get us true Christians you have to make sure that you're right that your heart is right with God. Because Buddha and I won't even go on to a bigger list is not going to save you going to be only one way to be saved and that's for you to get to know your creator God the Father and get to know his son and how he came to earth and died for our sins that if we believe in him we will not perish but have everlasting life after years of research I realized that the King James version of the Bible though it's hard for me to read it is the most accurate Bible that we have to date you can do your own research online but most of the Bibles have uh, had scripture taken out and some of the scripture changed to further the agenda of the globalist now the New World Order the leaders, the top families that run everything are Luciferians at the top. And there's even uh, a few whistleblowers that said that they actually meet with Lucifer now. He actually shows up to these uh, rituals, which is creepy. For the past seven years, there have been people that swear they were abducted by unidentified flying objects, space aliens. So a lot of people see a connection to a more of a demonic force posing as space aliens. In every case, they hypnotize you, they make it where you can't move, and it's some kind of a DNA or sexual rape breeding that takes place. So this has been going on for 70 years, and where are all these babies possibly going to if they're crossbreeding with humans? And 
And furthermore, and furthermore, a lot of people can link together that these might actually be fallen angels that are having sex with women. It's in the Bible. Noah. In the time of Noah, so what shall be in the end times? Is what the Bible says. The fallen angels came down and crossbred with us. God sent a giant flood and killed everything on earth except for Noah and the animals they took and his family. And that in the end times that they would come back to earth again and crossbreed with us again. And every alien abduction is always the same thing. It's some kind of a rape, crossbreed, experimental thing. So if those are fallen angels, where are all the babies and children at? They're now adults because 30, 50, 60 years have passed by. Whoa, oh. is it possible that they are world leaders, pop star singers, movie stars? Every facet of life that could influence mankind to slightly keep us away from Christ. Not to completely make us worship the devil, but to slightly throw us off track of being a real Christian. But as things escalate, as God's forced out of our schools and our nation, we see our nation entering a police state. Corruption, major, major corruption and treason against the American people. So do they go hand in hand? Now with the Antichrist on the earth and the crossbreeding of fallen angels and humans, these are hybrids. Many pop star singers and movie stars for the past 30, 40, 50 years have been placed into positions to slightly throw us off, to keep us in a false reality. Well, my suggestion to you is just to get to know God. As horrible as these things are, and the further you search, the darker it seems to get. But if you get close to God, if you give your heart to Christ, then you will have everlasting life. He promises that in the Bible. See, the God tells the truth, and the devil lies. God gives you life, the devil gives you death. God is about true love, and the devil is about perversion. God believes in property rights, the devil believes in theft. The globalists at the top level are on some kind of uh, magic human sacrifice trip. Whether it's true or not, they believe it. And they've been doing it. People that you see on TV every day, you would be amazed if you knew how many of them were in on it. You would freak out. But the evidence is all out there if you just do your investigations. Uh, I found Alex Jones, the Dredge Report, Red, Red, Red Pill Revolution, um, there are so many more that have some pretty good information. And if you do your research, you'll find out this is all public documents. So get to know God, get to know Christ, do your research. Don't give in because the end might be here. Keep going forward, fight. Fight for your soul. Believe in your, in your God. And the most important thing is to get right with Christ. That's all there is to it. So as you do your research and you dig deeper, things get darker. That's why it's very important for you to get to know your Creator, God the Father, and His Son, Jesus Christ. That's the most important thing in this dark time. The globalists are moving at a faster rate because people are waking up. Fluoride in the water. You, there's so m many scandals going on and no one's accountable and no one's saying nothing about anything. I don't see any prosecutions, people going to jail. It's amazing. You do research, you're gonna find porno and many cartoons that they're hiding in, in the backgrounds. 
your subconscious mind picks up on it that your conscious mind doesn't. So as you do your research, the deeper you dig, the darker things get. The only answer in the end times where the devil approaches us, the Antichrist, the only answer is to get to know the one and only God, your creator, my creator. Get to know God, Jesus Christ. Get a King James Version of the Bible and read and pray and meditate. Read, pray, and meditate.